Okay, good evening, everybody. Hope you're all doing well. Hey, Maestro, how are you doing this evening, man? Okay, so uh, 20 seconds left before we start. Uh, let's quickly run over the preliminaries. Welcome everybody to the stream. Hope everybody is doing well. For those of you that don't know, all of my past live streams do get posted onto my YouTube channel. So go subscribe, turn on the notifications there, show some love and support. Um, if you are new, welcome to the stream. Don't be shy. Come and interact, chat a little bit. Let me know that you're here. And also, if you've got any social media platforms and you feel like sharing and spreading the word, that would highly be appreciated as well. So, tonight, we are actually going to be playing something a little different. We are going to be playing Risk of Rain. Who, specifically? Let's put the sound down on that a little bit, because it is a bit loud. So, Risk of Rain is difficult to explain. But Risk of Rain is... It's a third-person shooter that goes to shit very, very quickly. It's almost like a dungeon crawler, but it's not quite. One, you'll see. You'll see very quickly what it becomes. It gets insane really, really quickly. And I'm glad to hear you're getting better, Maestro. I really am. I'm doing good, thank you. Day was good. Day was relaxed. It's actually been a nice, relaxed weekend. Uh, it's raining now outside, so it's a little bit cool. But yeah, actually excited to sit back and just enjoy a nice stream. I hope the game is not too loud and you can still hear me clearly. Just to be safe, we're going to turn this down just a little bit. Okay, everything there should be a little bit smoother now. And not as loud anymore either. Okay. So I have completely reset my account. So I've got about 87 of the 116 achievements that you can for the game. But I've completely reset it because I want to start it from scratch with all the viewers present. So, to start off, we get one of three options. We get the Commando, the Huntress, and the Railgunner. Each one has obviously got uh, specific skills set to it. However, the gameplay and the style of the attacks and everything changes very much so as we play. On the top, we have got a couple of different options. We have got Drizzle, we have got Rainstorm, we have got Monsoon. This refers to the difficulty of the game. And then we have got... Artifacts. Now, artifacts is something that we will have to find and get in order to apply a certain something to the game. It's modifiers to the level. So, regardless of whether you start on Drizzle, whether you start on Rainstorm, or whether you start on Monsoon, it is still going to be absolutely hectic after a while. This just determines how quickly you get to the absolutely insane gameplay so i think for now we're just gonna go on drizzle just to give you an idea of what the game is all about and then we're gonna come back and we'll switch up with the rainstorm now the reason why i'm not going for monsoon straight away is because there are a couple of um i want to call them characters that i want to unlock before we get there and there's a couple of skills that straight off the bat so if we go over here i just to find out where they are um uh, Okay, so as you can see, there are a couple of skills. These are all the different things that can apply to your attacks. And with the starting off a brand new account, there's a lot that we need to re-unlock. And then these are obviously the challenges as to how we unlock everything. So some of the things are not going to be available to us. Some of the better things are not going to be available to us from, from the beginning. So we'll get to the monsoon difficulty later on. So for now... Um, we're just gonna run drizzle so we run drizzle we'll run the commando just for the most basic one and then we'll start
So it's going to seem slow. For those of you who don't know the game, most of you probably do. But it's going to seem slow and it will pick up in intensity as we move. see in the top left hand corner we have got our cash our cash will be used to unlock boxes or use shrines that is how we get modifiers to our attacks in the top right we have got our difficulty now regardless of whether you are killing enemies regardless of whether you are um running around trying to get cash it will slowly but surely or if you just stand still on a single spot it will slowly but surely get harder and harder and harder so you want to balance staying in an area for the right amount of time. Ow, that was not smart. You want to balance staying in an area for the right amount of time versus not taking too long to switch over to the next area. Because otherwise, you will end up when you switch over, there's quite a chunk that gets taken out of that bar that says easy. Now we've got 25 cash. We select the upgrade. And this is ATG missiles. So chance to fire a missile on my attacks. Like those. Now uh, these things, some of them stack infinitely, however some of the um, buffs that they do, don't stack infinitely. But you'll see what we mean by that as we move on. That was stupid. So what we are running, doing now is we're running around looking for chests, because chests give us our upgrades. Or we are looking for potums, if you want to call it that. Right where we started is another box. Okay, this is actually a beautiful start. So, again, 10% chance to apply bleed on an enemy. On an enemy that's a bit more tanky, it'll reflect next to their health bar. Let's see if I can show you. There we go. There's bleed stacking, and we will die. And the books that they drop, this is just a little bit of information about the uh, monster itself. Almost to a logbook. Lock book. And then these are Lunar Coins, which we will need if we ever want to access the Lunar Temple. I think it's called the Lunar Temple, I could be wrong. So while it seems slow... Oh, this is the main shrine that we need to activate, which um, summons a boss. And then once we've fought the boss, we kill the boss, we move on to the next area. So there's a balancing act that has to take place to make sure that you are ready to fight the boss, but you also don't want to be in the area for too long. These are 3D print machines. Basically, you sacrifice one of the existing items that you've got. So as you can see in the top of the screen, I've got the missile and the... Um, bleed charge, you sacrifice one of those for potentially something else, but it is guaranteed because you'll see it on the front. I hope everybody can hear correct, I hope the sound's not too loud. Okay, there we go. Now that is a 10% chance for him to do critical damage, so that's not a bad way to start. 10% crit chance and 10% bleed chance. I'll see if I can't find one or two more easy chests. So you'll see in the bottom right, we have got control to sprint. Uh, mouse 1 to do your standard attacks. Mouse 2 to do a little laser. And then shift to dodge. And R to do a burst fire. And then there is a, a slot for Q, but that is for equipment. Got some hard bread ready to be non. Oh, that sounds amazing. Is that the same bread that you made the other evening? Alright, now I could technically fall down there and be fine because I. No, no, I mm, that'll be actually quite a bit of damage. I don't have a feather that allows me a second to jump, so I'm not gonna risk it. I'm just gonna run around. 
And we are getting towards the middle of easy, so I do want to think about maybe going on the teleporter, starting the event, and hoping that I've got enough damage right now to deal with the boss. I should. Or well, I'm just going to have to play it a bit more carefully. I'm going to do one loop around to the backside of the shrine, and then the teleporter, see if there's any chest. If there isn't, then I'm going to come and hit that. Got some hybrid ready to be nommed. Yeah. Dude, you're going to make me hungry again. Why does every single stream start off with food? <laughs> nothing that I wanted up here. I can't see any chests relatively close by. I don't want to grab that right now because I don't think I have enough Lunar Coins to even spend if I go there. So I'm just going to start the teleport event and then see how that goes. Okay, teleport event has started. What do I get? Beetle Queen probably. Yeah. So as you can see, we're just going to be stacking bleed as much as we can. We've got times one bleed, times three bleed. The critical damage that I'm doing every now and then. Those are the beetle guards. Get rid of the queen first, so we want to be concerned. Something like gasoline, ukulele, or will of the wisp, that would be nice. Those are the upgrades that I'll show you guys later on. Okay, so the queen is dead. And now, every time you kill the boss, it will drop something around you. And we got a second ATG missile. So as you can see, it's now stacked on the top. So now we've got a better chance of spawning a missile every time. And they're home. So they're tracking missiles. And uh, Maestro, I actually think this is the kind of game that you might like. Especially when you see how it evolves later on. Also, take note of what my character looks like. Now, however much cash you have got left at the, at the end of the round, um, converts to XP, basically, before you move into the new section. You don't actually carry the money into the new round. Okay, you can see we're done. Complete the teleporter event. All of that is switching to XP. Oh my cash is gone, and now we teleport. And now we're in any area. Okay, so these are almost like little shops. They give us an option of one of three. Take. I can already see there's bleed sounds, so I'm definitely going to want that. So I'm going to need 43. I have got 41, so I need to kill something small. There we go, and I want the extra bleed sounds. So now we've got a 20% chance of applying to So in some of the maps, there are small little events that you can take part in. Like for example, you see these things. They're actually pedestals. There's two of two or three of two or three. I can't remember. Either two or three that we need to stand on, or normally if you're playing with other people, it's easier. Or we need to try and kick around a pot. That is found around just somewhere. And put the pots on them and then it opens up a door that's further on which gives you access to a specific type of boss. But yeah, we're not going to worry about any of that early game stuff. I want the meat. Because the meat is going to give me an additional 25 health. Okay, so this is the next one that I want. The syringe that is for attack speed. Very few of those get your attack speed up really damn quickly. So I need 43, I've got 35, so we just gotta knock out a few enemies. Unfortunately, so in the beginning the enemies spawn relatively slow, obviously trying to compensate for where you're at at the game, but eventually attack speed is in key. Now if you remember what it was like, it needed a very clear increase in attack speed. Obviously, the faster we attack, the faster we can apply bleed, the faster we can apply any other status effects that we might get later on. Oh, those are the pots that I'm referring to. 
explosion does have to be careful because they can explode. So I found the teleporter event, so that's nice. An easy way to find it from a far distance away if you don't know exactly where it is. Look for the particles floating in the air around it. So this... This is a void crate, so it's going to take 50% of, of my life away instantly. Then I will obviously recover it. And then it gives me a modifier to um, one of the pickups that I get. So for example, this would be a modifier to the fungi. Fungi, obviously, I can't remember if fungi is the one where you stand still, you start healing. Or if it's um, outside of combat, you your health. But regardless, if I pick this up, a heal while sprinting, corrupts or bursting, bustling fungi. So now it means whenever I'm sprinting, I'm healing. Which is good. This is a luck shrine. Basically, you pay the amount of tasks. It's either going to give you something or it's going to give you nothing. And it just gave me Will of the Wisp. That is insane. So, Will of the Wisp causes enemies to explode on death. Now, later on, when they are surrounded by a whole bunch of enemy, other enemies and stronger enemies, focus down the weaker enemies, kill them, and the explosions do quite a bit of damage to that around them. So the run is not starting badly. There we go, second syringe. Now we're going to be shooting even faster. And I think it's actually a good point for me to start the next event. Or should we just check down the patients one more time? Because I think my damage is looking good enough that we can start the teleporter. But we're going to check down this tunnel just one more time. So not seeing any immediate chests close by right now. Nope, I'm not going to run any further. My movement speed is still very slow. So I do want to find some hoops or some energy cans. And I do like the fact that whenever we sprint, we are healing. And it looks like it's healing 3 per second. Now obviously, if we find any additional fungi, it will stack with that fungus. Meaning we will heal even more. What's the next one? Another beetle. Now obviously, as you can see, we're stacking a lot more bleed. We're up to 13 bleed. And yeah. And you ignite, effects deal, quadruple damage. So that pays nicely. You're running out of choices, so you had to go with an English breakfast. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe up a cup of tea as well. Nothing wrong with a good cup of tea. So because I've got that, so I think if we actually pause, yeah, the ignition tank, your ignite effects deal quadruple damage. So I think that pays nicely with the uh, gasoline, which when I find it, it does the same. So once the thing reaches 100%, we're good to go. That's a portal. I'm not going to take it right now. That is something that will be introduced a little bit later. But right now, I want to hit the shrine a couple of times because we've got the money. Nothing. Oh, now I've got 30% bleed chance, which is amazing. And I've used everything on the shrine. So we're already set up better for the next area. And we've only just gone into medium. This game gets hectic very very quickly and especially as we progress later on and we start having artifacts active yeah it gets fun one of the artifacts i think is double the enemies but half the health 
which sounds easy, but it does make things very hectic very quickly. And I think there is also a challenge. I'll have to go show you where to get it. But there is also a challenge that if you can get to this map, which is not guaranteed because the maps are in a non-specific rotation, if you can get to this map within or under 10 minutes, under 11 minutes, I can't remember which one it is, you get access to a very specific chest. Done with that. I think it's in here. Nope, it's not there. And now we're on fire. There we go, that's gasoline. So now when the enemies die, they will explode. And they will set everything around them on fire. That, um, coupled with the... Uh, what was it? Coupled with the ignition tank, coupled with Will of the Wisp, we're going to be doing some decent area damage. Focus on the weakest targets to kill it. As you saw there. And slap this once. Now we've got a large monster chain. Right? Execute a large monster and claim its trophy consumed on use. Don't know what that was. Spend some more money. There was nothing. The bleeding and the rest. A few now. We can the cash room. There we go. Just wait one more time. And we have got slightly increased attack speed and movement speed. So I started with the commander because the commander is normally the one that everybody starts off with. However, my personal favorite is the Huntress. And I will be using the Huntress on the next run when we eventually die. Because in this game, it's not a case of if you die, it's you will eventually die. If you play Endless, of course. There is a way to technically quote unquote beat the final boss, but that is not something we want to be doing anytime soon. We just want to be going as long as we can and trying to get as much of the skills that we need unlocked. It's gonna hurt. Okay, so that receive an instant heal at low health, however it gets consumed when it does. looking for some hooves also for some energy drinks and we've got some new chests down there some more gasoline so that means the explosion is going to be even bigger which is nice kill that one and that one died without me ever having to shoot at it that's a purple chest that means we just shield so again a temporary barrier when we kill something so faster we kill something we'll get a barrier over our health almost like an energy shield Okay, last place to check is just up the mountain. Once we're up the mountain, that has been done, then we'll run back to the event. Now, I don't think I have found the teleporter yet. So I'm trying to look out for the particles. I see some particles, so that means I found the event. Nice. Fortnite PvE. <laughs> Do you really want to compare it to Fortnite? Because I'm going to miss a lot of people. <laughs> and there we go. I see another bleed chance. So that means we are going to be up to 40% chance to apply bleed. Which is phenomenal. Okay, this is deal bonus damage to nearby enemies. Up to seven bleed. Yes, we're making a stone bleed because that's how it works. <laughs> I 
<laughs> nice. Okay, so this is for a 3D printer. So if we... I'd rather show you with something that we actually want. So this is an equipment slot. We're going to spend 69 because I don't want this uh, thing that we've got. So this is a black hole. Basically, we fire a black hole that draws in enemies and causes damage to them. So I think now that we've done that, we're in a good place to be able to move on to the next up. Okay, we've got some extra cash. I think I'm going to use the cash on the Lux Shrine over here. See if we can get anything from it. If not, then we'll just start dealing. There we go. Increased sprint speed. I like that. And the basics. So now we get Krobo, which is increased damage. Gave me nothing. Gave me an orange. We don't want it. And it's empty. Okay. Onto the event. Or onto the teleporter. Nicely, got 13, 17, and dead. And I get over here. Killing an enemy gives you a burst of movement speed. Kill one of them, and kill the whisper take care of the rest. Now, all we want is a ukulele, because ukulele sucks enemies in while damaging them. I was guess. Exactly. <laughs> the black hole is a, is a void sphere. 100%. <laughs> um, definitely what I do want is ukulele. Uh, because the ukulele, whatever damage I do to one enemy, has got a chance to automatically chain to the other enemy. I don't know why it's a ukulele. I don't know how that got up chosen, but yeah. This should automatically die. Okay, so we are going into stage four, into the very end of the medium. So let's see how much we jump going in. Hey, we've unlocked the next character, which is the warrior. So we jump from to the basically three quarters of the way through medium. And we teleport. We should be about a quarter of the way into hard. Oh, we're almost halfway into hard. And if I'm not mistaken, this has, a, has got a place where... Okay, so I'm going to grab that, take off my health. So, full enemies um, detonate on hit, corrupt all Will-O-The-Wisps. Nice. So now instead of them dying, as soon as I hit them, they automatically explode. That's a very, very nice one. And something's dying out there. This is a prey to the shine of combat. So now we're going to have a whole bunch of stuff spawn. Kill it is going to give us a nice little boost. Just like it. And that's the boost that we're going to be able to claim at the end once we have beaten the boss. And this is also the map that gives us a legendary. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, we're into the actual event. Um, this is like a mini event. We've got to kill all the creatures side yeah. Everything dead? Okay. I'm about to die, I'm about to die. Run, run, run. I died. And that is the end of a run. It was actually killed by the planet yeah because that spear kept hurting me that was my own stupidity so that's the end of a run it gives us a nice little breakdown of how we did what we did and now we've also got unlocks to elite slayer um 
Uh, okay, so these are these are all just additional stuff. So let's go back and let's go to the logbook. So as you can see, increased attack speed by fifteen percent, fifteen per stack. Found two highest. I don't think it actually has a cap on it, so you can just shoot ridiculously quick, quickly. However, yeah, there's ten percent that highest stack count is one. That's the most I've had. But yeah, now we've got access to some other things as well. However, I will need to find them for the very first time before they will be added to the logbook. And one of them that was added was the crowbar, this one. But I don't have the details for it. And that's the ukulele. And that's basically the just of it. Now it's just a case of going ham. And now we've got the next character that I actually like a lot. The Huntress. That was the one we just unlocked, which is the bandit. And then we've got the rail gunner. Some of them you can unlock simply by playing. Some of them there are specific tasks you have to do in order to unlock it. For the loadout, we will also eventually load out, um, unlock a optional primary, an optional utility, an optional special, and in a different skin. But the um, the the additional skin, you have to obliterate yourself on monsoon difficulty. And the only way you can obliterate yourself is by accessing a certain portal after a certain amount of rounds. I think it's seven or eight. I can't remember. But yeah, let's run with this. The nice thing is her shots automatically track. And her dash is not a dash like what it was with... I'm not going to... Actually, let's do that. See if we can't get to that level again. So, one way to unlock one of the characters, one of the special characters, is by carrying the array from the back of your drop pod all the way to that lava mission that we just were at. And then placing it in the little dog here at the top, I think. It's weird, but yeah. So, this one doesn't have a dash. This one has got a, a blink, which is very nice. And then the... The secondary on this throws out a projectile that bounces between enemies and the R on this one basically creates rain of arrows. You would recognize it as rain of arrows. What are we starting off with? But there we go, crown crowbar. Deal damage to enemies above 90%. So let's do the rain of arrows. What I love about this game is there are characters that you can download that are mods that are not the standard characters that come with the game. Some of them are shitty, like they haven't really been flushed out. Some of them are so good they could have just as well been developed by their um, developer. And one of those characters is Goku from Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Corpse Bloom, do I want this? Double your healing, but it applies over time. That's fine. I don't know what this is. Oh, that's to heal me. Alright, so that's a nice place to come and heal if I need to. I haven't played this game in a while either, so I don't know if there's anything. There's a couple of things that seem new to me. I'm still looking for the portal. Again. There we go. So I'm going to sacrifice my um, my damage above 90% and I'm going to take the syringe instead. Because one thing you definitely need on the Huntress is attack speed. And we found the teleport again. I can do that. 
did quite a bit of damage. And I died because I did something stupid. So some runs go great. <laughs> some grunts go horribly. Let's grab the Huntress again. And let's run the Huntress. I want to give you an idea of what it looks like when you actually get to the good part. Just to have some background. Definitely want the chance to bleed. And I need 50 for this chest. And we can go back to the that's green slow enemies on hit not horrible not great shame it wasn't yorkshire tea <laughs> hey jj how are you doing this in good sir If you recall about tired, long day. Long and frustrating. Oh, one of those horrible days. And it's a Saturday, which makes it even worse. Heal enemies near heal all nearby el Oh my god, I can't read. Heal all nearby allies after standing still for one second. So in the previous round I picked up the thing that corrupted that and made it so that if I sprint, it can heal me instead of standing still. So this good sir is risk of rain. I don't know if you remember, I think it was last night or the night before I was talking about it. This game becomes an absolute clusterfuck of just so much shit happening. If you don't die. It takes a little while to get there. It does start off a little bit slow. But obviously you need to find the upgrades to make it better. So right now I've got a character. In the top of the screen you'll see some... It does look like Fortnite. <laughs> oh, you guys are going to offend so many people for saying that. The thing is, they had to go for a very, very minimalist art style, and you'll understand later. So right now I'm running at an easy 220, 230 frames. If I make it to like round 8 or 9, somewhere around there, my frames are going to start dropping a lot, very quickly. Okay, so the teleporter event is over there. I'm not seeing any more chests. We'll take him on. You are going to be mostly fighting kids, so <laughs> it's not too much of a fight. <laughs> if the game is a bit loud, just let me know. I can always turn it down a bit. I 
Let's just do the event because it's starting to take too long and I don't see more, more cages. Not exactly the boss I want to fight on this one. But it's okay. Let's see if we can't get up. <laughs> I don't think you're wrong, good sir. If you had to lose, however, any kind of respect you might have had would be out the window at that point. I want to stay out of that circle. That was close. That's dead. Okay. Main boss is dead. I just clean up around it. What did you drop? Okay, you dropped the tank. I'm not a big fan of meds either. As much as I possibly can, I try and avoid taking any kind of medication. If it is for something like a headache. Should be at the end of easy or just into medium. We'll see. Okay, midway through easy. Where is Okay, I see boxes over there. That'll be my first focus point. Forty-one for that. Forty-nine for that, and forty-one for that. <laughs> You're not wrong, and eventually, so. There are mods that you can get that make it a lot more interesting so you can almost plan a build a lot better because it allows you to choose what upgrades you're going to get and it's not random like it currently is. There are artifacts you can get to make the game harder and easier. So it's just a point of getting there. There are some runs that if you get the correct mix of items it makes you nearly godlike. So we've got more chance to bleed. There we've got a receive flat damage reduction. There's one more left to get. Just need the cash for it. And then I see there's another chest down there. And then there's a child over there. Which is going to give us a good amount, amount of money. Ooh, a green. Will of the Wisp. Hells yes, I'm happy. I think this is a game that both of you would like. Especially if you see what it looks like later on. And the different type of characters to get. Finished off the trial, that's gonna give us a nice little boost of cash. Let's go find the next box. Also, one of those games that I would suggest rather getting on sale if you ever do want to get it. But this one has got a lot more um, enjoyment to it than the hyper charts that I've been playing. Oh yeah, so we got our first syringe, so our attack damage should be up now. Our right, attack speed, not our attack damage.
Okay, found the teleporter as well. So these are the kind of pots that you want to be pushing to those uh, pads that I was talking about last time. So this. Okay, that one is kind of shitty deal bonus damage to the enemies near by. It's okay, it's not great, it's not good. And if you get to all those pressure pads and you open them up, you end up opening that. Which takes you to a unique boss fight. Another green. You already can release a healing node with them in the teleport event. That's nice. And the more we get of those, the more it stacks, the more healing we've got during the fight. So I just feel like my sound is a bit loud for where my voice is at. Yeah, Borderlands is amazing. Borderlands 1, 2 or 3 though. Not a fan of the first Borderlands. The second and the third one is amazing, but my all-time favorite is uh, three. I'm not a fan of Tiny Tina's Wonderland. Don't like it at all. I think they fucked it. Same. Okay, I think that's as good a place as any is to move on to the next area. because that's going to do some tentacle shit that's not touching me inappropriately. I did not mean to do that. Because that's what I'm trying to afford. Uh, I can't run away. And the event we get is move fast outside of combat. Means my moving around is going to be a lot nicer. We're not looking great, but we've got a lot of singles of individual items, which I don't want. Yeah, Borderlands 1 was okay, Borderlands 2 was good, Borderlands 3 was badass, pre-sequel was okay, Tiny Tina's Wonderland was shit. Absolutely shit. So, it all depends on what you want to focus on. So, because Huntress attack speed is so shit, I want to try and stack um, as much attack speed as I can while something like bleed and... But because you've got no control over what you're getting, unless you find little altars, it makes it difficult to plan a run. And that's where mods come into play and artifacts later on. I mean, the first artifact I'm going to get, I just need to double check what it's called, is the one that I think it kind of allows me to choose when I have a chest. It allows me to choose what's going to drop out of the chest. So I can build a specific run. Something that's a pure crit build, a pure bleed build, a pure uh, burn build, whatever. And so that gives me... Get a delivery each stage that contains powerful items. Yeah. Turn invisible at low health. So 
So this way I can guarantee that I'm going to get a... Um, uh, it's like a, uh, a shield. Whenever I kill enemies, I get a barrier. But the problem is it's going to take something random from the things I've already got. And it could potentially end up taking something that I critically need right now. But here's a key. This key gain access to a rusty rock blocks. Rusty lockbox that contains powerful items. These you just find randomly now and then. It's another green item, shuriken. So now, along with attacking with my arrow, or with my bow, I will now and then randomly throw a shuriken. The more you stack it, the more shurikens you throw, and you end up doing quite a lot of damage. This one is a 3D printer for sticky bombs. Last. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> you judging my English. This is a red item. This is a un uh, is a legendary chance on killing chance on killing an enemy to summon a ghost. And then the ghost will fight for me. I promise I can English. There's another key for a lusty rock box. <laughs> okay, so gain a recharge shield. That's nice. Okay, I've already found the teleport event. There it is. Patrol quickly. Come on, where you? If that was the shrine of the mountain, it means that when I do the boss fight, it's not just going to be one boss. It's going to be two or three. Ah, there's the ghost that's helping me out for now. So there are things that you can do to make your life easier, and there are things that you can do that's going to completely fuck your shit. So that is another fungus, so that means if we stand still. We get a little healing over that drops on the floor, and we go for it. Not really useful for the Huntress, but there is one class, it's called the Engineer. Fucking fantastic, because the Engineer puts down carrots. And all of the things that you pick up, so all of those effects that I've got at the top, applies to the turrets that you put down. It's absolutely fucking amazing. This, I don't know what it is. And it doesn't look accessible, so... Fuck this. Yeah, I think I've been here long enough. Let's move on. Is there a melee class? Yes, there is. There's more than one melee class. And the melee class is actually fucking insane. He's actually pretty badass. There's long-range gunners. There's engineers. There's... Um, Archers, there's gunners, there's there's a whole bunch of there's even a there's even a class where you're a dog that spits acid. And the melee class you're up in the thing's face. Okay, how many bosses do we have? Okay, so we've got a magma one. actually more than one melee class. I think there might be two or three melee classes. Okay, so the magma worm is dead. Let's go get the, get the Mark 2 rockets. So now we're starting to shoot rockets as well.
can't remember if the melee class is one that you get standard. Honestly, I can't remember if that. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> so yes, you do have the benefit of this class. You don't have to aim with other classes. You really have to aim. Okay, so on this map, there is one sector that is very important. I just want to kill this thing because it's going to give me a lot of cash to do so. And because it splits the whole time. Okay, so we've got quite a bit of cash for that. It's on this map that you can actually unlock one of the characters, but you have to go all the way to the top of the map, up there somewhere. And there's a special requisite that you had to meet in order to... Some stuff that you had to bring with you. Which I did not do. And something I will think about later on. So in here, there's a lockbox. I need 1,618 and then I get a pretty badass legendary. But obviously I can't try and hold up all that money. So there I get a legendary for free. And yes, I'm going to switch that. Adds two extra charges to your utility skill. So now I can dash and dash again. Get my shit out of there very quickly. And once again, all legendary stack as well. It's not like you can only have one legendary active as well at a time. I need tests. Okay, reduce damage the first time you are hit. Okay, I found the teleporter event, that's good. Money on a big chest, that's a green item. Turn invisible at low health, that's fine. Another green item. Which is chance on kill to drop a treasure. That's okay. So now traversal also becomes a lot faster. And there's a little hidden area here at the back. So you can see how I mean about this game can become a lot of fun. And it does get a lot hectic as we get hectier. So this is an area that I have not unlocked because it is a boss fight. You actually have to access it from the other side, I think. Okay, so here we've either got that or random item. Let's take the random item. Drop a health orb on kill. utility item, disposal missile launcher. So now if I press Q, all the missiles go into the air and they just track to the closest target. Pretty fucking badass if you ask me. There's an uh, increased energy speed. Probably I'm getting faster as well. I just want to go to the very top so I can show you what I'm talking about. There it is. That's one of the classes. But in order to unlock him, you have to bring something here. And I think that's the cell that you get off the back of your landing pod when you start the game. So we're going to sacrifice half of our health quickly. Get a modifier. Chance to root enemies on hit corrupt. But instead of slowing them, it now roots them in place. I 
3D printer and there's a healing drone if I want one. So I can spend 161 and pay for that and I'll get a drone that'll throw me around. However, I actually think I've got the cash to go grab the legendary. Which will always take priority. No, it's okay, my man. You're not feeling too great, go later. Okay, so I need about 200 more. Is JJ still in chat or is he also getting some rest? Because I know he said he had a good day. Okay, now that I've got cash, let's go inside. Grab legendary. And it's another mosque. So we're going to have potentially quite a couple of ghosts on now. Do need more attack speed though. It's the one thing I'm running very badly on. That's gonna hurt. Gave me nothing. Okay, deal extra damage to bosses. That's nice. Ain't great, but it's something. Grab those. I think there's just one chest over here. And I'm just gonna start the event. Gasoline, which is nice. I don't think we had a gasoline. No, we didn't. Okay, so yeah, we've got a 3D printer for um, critical strikes. So I'm definitely gonna sacrifice some items to get that. Because this is gonna give me a chance to bleed. So I have got three. Sacrifice the health kit, that's okay. 40%, let's go up to 50%. Shit, I sacrificed my gasoline. That's the only side effect. I've got zero control of what I'm sacrificing. But at least I know the bleed's gonna stack nicely enough. Got a 50% chance of applying blind and let's use the shrine once, and then we can start the event. And it gave me nothing. And now that big motherfucker is my ghost. Nice. So that was a bit hectic. See what I mean by it's starting to get a lot more hectic than what it originally was. Okay, 90%. Almost there. Once we're done, I'm gonna spend some money on that pillar, see if I can get any additional shit from it. If not, okay, that's done. Are you gonna give me anything? No. Can give me anything? No. Are you gonna give me something? Yes. Gonna give me something again, one more time. Yes, got no more cash left. Okay. Let's move on to the next area. Still up for 30 consecutive minutes. So we've already done better than what we did last round.
and things are just going to get harder and harder. So this is where you actually need to type in a specific code for an artifact and then you need to complete the challenge which I think I'm going to try and do. I just need to look up what the code was for the artifact. You're supposed to find them in other places but... So it is down here. So I think I'm going to drop down here. So here it is. And that is the display. So give me one second. I am quickly going to have a look what the codes are. Uh, artifact tricks of range. So, um, so we want the artifact of command. And I'll show you why we want that. Now, the artifact of command. The artifact of command basically makes this. Command. Hold on. Sorry, right, no, there's a bit of a lull in action right now. Just trying to. Uh, find it quickly. Yeah, fertility. Evolution, Metamorphosis, Spite, Enigma, Chaos, Kin, Vengeance, Soul, Honor, Sacrifice, Glass, Swarms, Command. Okay. Um, how do I get this again? Items do that. Work. How do I get it again? I honestly can't remember how to get the artifact of Command. DLC. I honestly can't remember how to get the the thingy. Chaos command square 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 triangle triangle triangle. Let's see if I remember that. Oh, shit. Uh, square 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 triangle triangle triangle. I think I got it. Mm, no, okay, so that was wrong. But square, square, square. Square, square, square. Triangle, triangle, triangle. Ok, 
Okay, so that was an right, so it's either gonna be that, 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 that. Square, 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 triangle, triangle, triangle. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, now we're going into the portal. So, Hidden Realm, Bulwogs, Ambry. I need to kill this thing without dying to unlock the artifact. There's an artifact key. There's a chest that I can't use. So the start fights. So now I need to run in and find the next artifact key. Let's grab this. Yes, that's a key. this on the artifact. There we go, that's half a telephone. I need to do that two more times. So I need to kill shit until they drop that yellow option. If that happens, we should be good. So now we can choose. So I will take the ukulele, thank you very much. And that is what Artifact of Command does. That screen pops up and allows you to choose what you want to think instead of waiting relying on random stats it is the bitch way about going about it but it's the fun way about going we'll take the wisp One more time, I think. There we go, and we want critical chance. So now it's not down to random luck. Now I can actually plan a build. Grab some attack speed. And we're still looking for the last key. monster that's trying to spawn this key. There we go, that's the last one I needed. <sighs> that was close. Now we can choose that, grab some more attack speed. And we've got the artifact.
And now we can return to the normal game. And these artifacts, now that I've done it once, I can now start off a new round with this artifact every single time. Loop back to the first stage, Deja Vu, so that's a new legendary. This is gonna make life a lot nicer. So now, even though it says that's the syringe, if I select it, oh, I haven't started it for this round. Never mind, ignore me. I have to actually select the um, the totem for the next round. So if I die, then we'll have the artifact command. But right now, it's actually quite peaceful. Yeah, I think we're at the point where we can start this fight. Okay, now I want to run because I want to hide from that laser. Enemies with four or more debuffs are marked for death, taking bonus damage. Which eventually, when we start applying a magic fuck ton of statuses, we make killing an enemy a lot faster. And I love the fact that the boss has now become my ghost. And you'll see eventually the difficulty in the top right is just going to stop giving us numbers and um, words. They're just going to start laughing at us. They're just going to go ha 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 forever. But that doesn't mean it's reached a difficulty cap. It just means it's at the point where it's just hard enough that it doesn't have to bother tracking it anymore. I'm gonna clear out this area without making the same mistake that I did last time. And I'm dead. Never mind. So, we finally got the hoof. The hoof is gonna increase my movement speed massively. We got the trial of command, which I'm gonna show you now what it does. We got a new legendary, Deja Vu, and we've got the teddy bear. The teddy bear is amazing. And I was killed by a lesser wisp, and that is the totality of all the items that I picked up. So, 
we are going to do now is to give you an idea we're going to take the commander again the basic bitch one we're going to switch it to normal we're going to say ready oh no hold on i fucked that up uh quit the main menu we're going to say single player grab the commander normal difficulty grab the artifact and we're going to choose artifact or command And now we've got it active over there. And it's going to be on a difficulty, a higher difficulty. But now, let's see the difference. And I'm also going to take the pod with me. I'm going to take that with me to try and see if we can't get to that uh, lava level again. If we can't unlock another character. Yeah, let's find a chest, let's find a chest, let's find a chest. Okay, so we are very slow. I need a chest, please. Find the first chest. And now we're going to see the difference. I just want to make sure I'm somewhat safe before I use it. Call it out. Now it's just around circle. And the very first thing we want is increase attack speed. How nice is that? Now I can actually plan a build. Kind of takes away a little bit of the core of what the thing is about. Trying to make do with the random shit that you get. But it also makes it a lot more fun. So I know the risk of rain will be split between that. Do they want to do it? Do they not want to do it? I do it because, well, I'm the one playing the game. So I'm the one that has to be enjoying it. And Maestro, I hope you're happy. I'm using a class that doesn't auto-aim. i do this, and I want to use bleed. Because the commander fires off so many rounds, stacking bleed is going to be nice. Right now, obviously, there's only a 10% chance, so I'm going to grab two or three of them. And then I also want to grab a hoof. The hoof is going to make my movement speed a lot faster. So let's try and waste some money on this. See if I get one. Yes, I do. We are going to grab a hoof. Increase movement speed. Let's choose it again. That's a green one. I definitely want... Let's take ukulele. It's going to potentially chain my damage to other targets. Nothing. There's one. Definitely gonna go for some more bleed. Sacrifice half health, take that. Nope, I'm gonna die. That unfortunately is something that you can't control. Sometimes when you open up bones and attaches a sticky bomb to you and because it's already attacking 50% of your health, you're fucked. 
So, let's switch over to something else. Let's try. No, actually, I want to take the commando. I want to run the commando. We're going to make it work, damn it. And again, I'm going to try and take the... Not very nice of them to start with the elite right now. It's a nice to start to cash. I'm gonna die. Okay, so I've already got cash for that. I've already got that. I want to take the Ukulele. I should have taken Will of the Wisp, but I was in a bit of a hurry. Okay, this. But at least now we've got one. You clearly out the way. And I've already found the teleporter as well. Glowing particles. There it is. Hold on, I don't think it's actually a sticky bomb that killed me last round. I actually think it's the thing on my back, because if I'm not mistaken, it's massively unstable. And if it takes too much damage, or if I take too much damage, it starts beeping and it's going to explode. Which is why you have to try and get it to its end destination in one piece. Let's test it. So I do this. Yep. Yep. It's gonna blow me up. Okay. So that's why it fails. Sorry, I just needed to test it. If I've got that thing on my back, I can't use any altar that's gonna take any kind of life away from me. I think for now I'm gonna ignore that. Let's go back to the commando. Uh, no, we're gonna stay on the same difficulty. Keep the artifact. We're gonna run this again. That's interesting though. I previously was not aware of that. I guess we've got a different start this time. So I think I'm going to grab it. Actually, no. I'm going to leave it for now. that actually i can't touch it now because i don't have to worry about that thing exploding because it's not on my back anymore could potentially be a nice modifier but i'm not gonna risk it right now i just need chests I know I said I was going to take the the hoof, but I need to start laying out some damage a bit better. And I need some heals. Uh, 
Puff. Yes. Okay, I found the event as well. The bleed should take care of him. I don't know what this room is. I don't know if this is an event or something special. Not sure. Legendary, that's gonna help massively because I just want. I want you. No, it's the wrong one. I wanted the bazooka. Damn it, because the bazooka turns all my rounds into explosive rounds. But this breaks through armor a lot easier, so. Thank you, things should die faster. Fuck. So that is where it becomes a little bit cheesy because when it comes to the legendary items, you can choose what legendary you want to. And there are some legendaries that are seriously OP. Matt, we're gonna go for more attack speed. That we're gonna go for more beating chance. Can I do it again? No, I can't. There is another shrine there, however. some gasoline if possible grab the gasoline nothing nothing so that's four nothing so out of the five that I chose only one actually gave me something that is a risk unfortunately wasting your cash so I think my damage is good I'm gonna run to the event. I think I'm gonna go top way around. Might get a chest or two along the way. Good, just run over, grab the teleporter, kill the boss, and move on to the next area. And not do something stupid. Okay, fighting this thing. Stack the beam, stack the beam, stack the beam. Six, eight, nine, ten, lead. There we go. Beam's been stacked. The boss is dead. And now we can even choose from a green one. And we are definitely going for this. Healing orbs around the event. Meaning, periodically I'll get healed while I stand here. There we go, that was a healing wave.
Master, don't tell me my shit can't aim. Eighty-seven percent. I want to start stacking my critical, I want to start stacking my bleed, I want to start stacking my attack speed, I want to start stacking my movement speed. But also to start thinking about survivability as well. Now I don't think I've got teddy bears available yet, so I might need to go for the regen shield or barrier on kill. a golden shrine meaning shit is expensive but i think that drops red like this we want to start stopping some critical and I need to start thinking about life as well. Okay, we got dead. I need chests. Teleporter. Uh, let's grab. That's what I was talking about. Gain temporary barrier on kill. So the more I kill, the more of a shield I have. It does deplete relatively quickly, so the more that I stack, the more I get. I am going to want stakes as well to have more health to start off with. See this chest on that island, so I'm probably gonna make my way over there. I hope everybody's enjoying the stream. If you enjoyed, why not? Give us a follow. Do actually have teddy bears. Chance to block incoming damage. Nice. Let's grab some more attack speed. I need to go back up and grab that lunar coin. And I was not thinking about getting feathers. Feathers are gonna make it so I can stay in there a lot longer. damage let's move on the more I move on the better chance they'll be finding chests quickly the more money I get for kill and the less expensive chests are actually what am I fighting? Beetle Queen oh I thought so 
up to 10 bleed already. 15 bleed, 16 bleed. Easy, easy. This, I want that. Getting damage heals me. Thank you. That needs to start stacking as well. And I do want more Will of the Wisps and more ukuleles. I might go for the Mark 2 missiles as well, and I might want to grab a bottle to help with the ignite damage. Healing Nova. Very nice. Shield. Shields will be nice as well. I can see if there's a shrine close by. I might be able to waste a lot of my money on a shrine. Is there a shrine close by? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, yeah, fuck it. On to the next area. Stay steady. Okay, we've got a new area. I'm not the biggest fan of this area just because of the changes in... Um, Platforms with the massive gaps between the platforms. Very easy to fuck yourself by falling off the edge. Unnecessary for you guys to be here so quickly. That was unnecessary, but okay. Okay, so I'm gonna grab another buck. Misclick. I wanted to grab a hoof. Speed me up a little bit. Ah, it was a booboo. <sighs> it happens. It happens. It happens. It's done and dusted. Move on and recover. Let's grab you. Grab you. Oof. Oof. You can bleed, I'm not dealing with your shit. Thank you. Don't want to spend Luna coin on this, no, I don't. Not right now. I don't entirely remember what the hell those things actually do because the lunar coins have got the option to some of them are good some of them are really bad and some of them it takes a little work to make it work the one of them that's nice but yeah you can understand the damage with it is the glass cannon so you've got like 10 health it's like this little like just look in your fragile direction and you're dead but it's like double or triple damage I can't remember how much exactly it was, but yeah, it's basically a glass cannonball. Okay, over here, we're gonna go for some gasoline again. Get a second gasoline. I nearly fucked myself. Definitely want... Which one was it? Which one was it? We want the shield, that one. So that is going to automatically give us a shield now. Yes. Effectively, what we have on the screen right now, besides the ukulele and the Will of the Wisp, is what we want to focus on in terms of items. So 
I'm gonna see if I can't find some more chests. There might be some chests up there. No, you can't get up there. That's the wrong one. Am I thinking about down there? Where did I come in from? I think I came in from this side. Okay, there's a chest. Okay, let's focus on getting my... That's the problem, because I've got access to everything now, I'm not sure what to focus on first. Um, let's stack my bleed. Get my bleed up to 60%, then we'll get my attack speed up to 60%. I'll focus one task at a time. I can't remember, I think the event is up there, yeah. You've got 10 bleed on you, he's done it with me. Come on, stop that bleed. We're already up to 22 bleed, come on. Here we go. Well, we've got the chance. I don't know what these do. Fuck, I can't remember what these do. Um, summon an alpha construct on killing an elite. Sounds good. memorize the white ones the green ones and the red ones the blue and the yellow upgrades i fucking got no idea what they do so that's the construct that it's uh, spawned for me thanks bro What am I missing? What's shooting at me? And let's go. Okay, so we're into very hard now. We should be about three quarters of the way into very hard. Not a fan of this. If we oh hold on. Are we where we think I am? This is the one that's got all the big fucking trees and Yep. Okay now I wanna get out of this place as soon as possible. I'll just hit that thing, stack as much bleed as possible, and just let the bleed work all the distance. Nope, don't want that. Okay, your bleed is going to stack. 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 Okay, you guys can just go ahead and bleed there. Thank you. Nice little early currency. I need to find the chests to support it. Oh, fuck you. 
That's bullshit. The mushroom's keeping me safe. killed me because I was being stupid. That did freeze me. That's why I didn't like this map, because it's always a bitch to try and find the chests. So, I'm gonna spend one there, I think. Spend some more money, gave me a. I will take that. There's another yellow. Can't really switch it out. So, I'm gonna take that. Because that. 10 cashback on all purchases while the shop remains open. That's actually gonna make my shit cheaper. I don't know how smart this is gonna be, but we're gonna do it. That's a challenge of the mountain. That means we're gonna have double or triple the boss spawn when we get to that point. Constructs, constructs keep me alive. Oh my god, that was too close to comfort. Okay, that nearly went very badly. And I don't think I've got a fungus. No, I do not. stupid decisions. Now I've got to do a mountain and I've got half health. Okay, I'm feeling the damage that I do. Fills me up. Oh god. Yeah, I'm dead. There's four of these fuckers. I'm very dead. I am very dead. I am very dead. Okay, so there's a reason why you don't do those mountain challenges yet. So we're grabbing and understanding what the game's all about now. Let's try a different class, just for a little bit of a change up. Let's have a look at our logbook. Let's see what we've got. Yeah, so the hammer, after hitting an enemy five times, reduces the armor by 60 for eight seconds. Hmm. So while it's good, it's not the one that I wanted to get. And obviously we've got the hoops. Increased movement speed by 14%. 
Now I need to have a look. So this is ten percent. Uh I stand under correction, but I actually think there is a cap as to how much bleed you can apply to an enemy. I don't think you can go to the full 100% bleed. Or you can, and then they can't go past that. Or Same with the critical chances. I think you can only go up to a max of 75% critical chance. You can't go past 75. I'm not 100% sure. I'll need to double check the stats on that. And then this is just deal 75% damage to enemies above 90% health. So that's your initial hit. Kicks like a mule. Obviously pretty straightforward. That's our attack speed. Wall of the Wisp. On killing an enemy, spawn a lava pillar in a 12 meter radius for 350% base damage. And that obviously then spreads to the next enemy. That complemented with this. Ignite deals 300% more damage over time complemented with gasoline those three work well together gasoline ignition tank and will of the wisp means while we're killing an enemy when they die they spread fire to the enemies around them while they spread fire to the enemies around them, that's 300 percent damage and when they die they explode so it's just fire i can't remember so the melee character that you were referring to uh, obliterate yourself at an obelisk you know what let's do this i'm gonna take the easy route i'm gonna see if i can't oblit my, obliterate myself at an obelisk because i think once we do that we get access to one of the melee characters then there's like a element wizard character then there's a doggy and there's a plant and then there's some yeah we're just gonna do that we're gonna make it nice and easy we're gonna run this I fucked up. Oh, I did it. I was convinced I was dead there. upgrades are pretty simple we're gonna do critical damage first This is going to be expensive, but it's okay, it's worth it. Because it's a green. A green we want. Let's start off with a ukulele. Then we'll grab a Will of the Wisp, and we'll grab an Ignite. Hold on, I just want to do something quickly. Stream is looking a little quiet. So I just want to make sure everything is looking good. And just want to pop out a little post.
Let's go. Just there, hopefully I can afford it. 25 for the one. I need attack speed. Oh, absolute fucking stupid. And now we need destiny. Gasoline is gonna make our damage a little bit better. I think I've got enough to be able to fight the first boss. I'm doing this on the easy bow version, so I don't think it should be an issue, but... I've got the cash for more boxes, I'm just not seeing any more boxes. Fuck it. Start the fight, see how it goes. I'm either gonna die or I'm not. And not the best boss to. Circle. Okay, we've got the ignite tank, we've got gasoline. Now we just need a one of the wisp, and we've got that by next time we can start stacking it. slow in the beginning. What? What are you doing here? There's no way that there's an obliteration operation. Opportunity operation. There's no way there's an obliteration opportunity already. No, it's not. Nice. This, hello, good sir. This is where we can spend three white items to get a green item, spend five white items to get a red item, or we can use lunar coins to get these things. And that's where the issue is because I can't remember what does what. So I think to be safe. I'm not gonna do that. Or we can use the lunar coins to guarantee a certain map. Because I can't remember any of that ship, I'm not gonna do it. However, I fucking hope I can remember how to do this. Uh, let's go there. So that one is fine. Three, two, one. There we go. And put it into there. There's a secret boss down here. I can't remember how hard the boss was, and I don't necessarily think I've got the right equipment for it, but... Meh. we find him when we get ya. Oh shit, it's this place. Okay, I'm about to get fucked up. 
I'm about to get fucked up real bad. If it's the place I'm thinking of. Oh, no, it's not. This one, I just gotta stay inside the... Just gotta stay inside the circle. Anything outside the circle, you start taking damage. looking for is other elements and platforms like this so I think right now we're gonna grab the wisp and see if we can't potentially see where the next one is gonna be not this way not that way let's go back The next one's going to be. Let's wait for my eyes to heal up a bit. Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with this place right now. I'm gonna exit. It would be nice. I came in your way too. Way too early. I need quite a bit of movement speed to get around that place. Comfortably at least. Okay, we got quite a bit of cash. some shurikens. I need to think about starting to stack those. I need chests. I need chests badly. Give me one moment quickly. looking for chests. Is there anything I don't like about the start of each one of these rounds? Always takes so slow to get things going again. And then like 10 seconds later you're hoping and praying that it was a lot slower. I keep finding the expensive boxes. Expensive boxes aren't what I want. how we want the ukulele because it transfers the damage from one attack to multiple things. Uh, I think that's death down there. I can't remember if that's actually a fight or not. I'm gonna test it. Is gonna give me nice money. That's gonna take off my health, but give me money. I've got the 
cash, I just can't find the fucking chests. This is frustrating. Oh, is that a chest up there? Yes, it was. Now this is the question, do I go for the, yeah, go for the attack damage, sorry, the attack speed first. Grab some more cash. And hopefully we get like two or three chests close by to one another. So I can at least grab some more critical strike along with another gasoline maybe. Nice if I can get bleed as well. I can't see any chests right now, so shine it is. It's one. You are gonna give me bleed. You are green. You're gonna give me small than the wisps. And you are empty. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, you're good. Now, where the hell was that target to again? I can't remember where the teleporter was. I see particles over there. That means it should be here. Yes, it is. Any chests by any chance? No. Let's just get that started. Feather just gives me an extra double jump. Keeps me in here longer. You're a lot safer in the air in this game than what you are on the ground. In here, I definitely did not make it to the box in time because I think it's. Okay, there was a nice little boost of cash early on. There's a box right there. Okay. Attack speed and. First things first, got some more bleed. Box. 
It's an expensive box. It's an expensive box. Give me a red. If you can give me a red, yes, and I will take. What do I take? I'm gonna take you. That's gonna turn all of my hits into exploding. Gorgeous. That's massive. After that, I definitely want one of those jets because those jets allow me to have multiple utility or action slots, meaning I can dash more. It's a balance we definitely want to get. Yep, I was five minutes too late. Here's the secret box. Six minutes to like, yep, so it's ten minutes that you've got to get to this map. Now, that's not guaranteed in the rotation, so you've just got to try and be as quick as you can every single time until you can get to that box within six uh, within ten minutes. two or three more chests before I come back for this. Ow. I'm mistaken, there used to be a Luna thing behind you if I wanted to. I think it was back here. This was to spend a Luna coin? Yeah. Spend a Luna coin and I guarantee a blue portal to be able to go to the Luna shop. But I don't want to do that right now, I just needed to test if my knowledge was still accurate. Last place to check for some crates is out here at the back. There's normally some out here. Okay, there's a... Uh, there's a Lux Shrine. Seeing anything else? Nothing. Nothing. Oh, actually, gave me something. Okay, you. Gonna get some more bleed. Ninety. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I'm gonna grab some more movement speed. I use you again. No, I can't. Come out. Okay, I think that's good enough for now. We can go to the teleporter. I'm just gonna go to the teleporter this way. See if there's anything here that I want. Let's see how quickly we burn through this. Actually, I did a picture. I think while that's busy, we grab. Grab the mocks, grab the missiles. Should have actually grabbed another shuriken. Shurikens are what I say. It's okay, we're good though. Okay, I'm gonna have to start thinking about some other things as well. 
they're going to start getting maybe some teddy bears, or maybe some stakes, and potentially some shields as well. That's the antlers, that's the luck one, isn't it, right? And get more lucky with stuff. <gasps> I need that. Okay, over here we can guarantee ourselves a red item. I just need to make sure I got the cash for it. And that should be pretty simple. Especially when we do that shit. Fuck them up real quick. Just want to see what the cost of it is going to be. I need the damage heals you, it's good. I'll take another ukulele. That's three. I need another. Okay, enough ukuleles. I need one more work worse, but I'll be fine. Go check the price of this box. Thousand six hundred. Okay. Some quick cash is going to be one of those altars. Okay, we we'll have to pay attention to the nice. Any chests? speed. I'm still feeling very low on that. Uh, give me some more bleeding. Much better. And I need, I need two more critical chances at least. Still don't have a utility. What the fuck? How have I been surviving without a utility? And I definitely want. Um, fuck! I don't think I've got it. Uh, let's go with the rockets. got the cash that I need for the guaranteed unique. That's gonna make my life a lot easier as well. I need another crit. And now we need to start on some survivability. Let's just go down here first. Grab 
this bad boy. And all I want is that. Just how I can dash more than once. Okay, let's start with some shieldings. That's much better. I've already opened up that one. I'm not gonna do that, so that's stupid. Actually, I'm gonna try and progress, so let's do this fight. That's the last one of the worst that I need. Now we're gonna start with the shurigans and the missiles. They're logging shit from that side. To the next round. I don't think I'm gonna get any more artifacts for right now. I think I'm just gonna try and get to the obliterate the part where I purposely kill myself in order to get a new character and in order to get some other achievements. Movement speed. Uh, movement speed should be fine for now. I'm not gonna spend a coin on that. Two more crits, one more bleed, and then health. And maybe two more gasolines. This is hold additional equipment charge. This one was the equipment charge. That went well. I know, for those of you that are curious, I am not going to do the boss fight right now, so I'm almost I'm going to turn it off regardless. Let's go grab this one. Okay, we have got up to the 6 critical. 10%, got 60% chance of doing critical hits. I think. I don't know what the caps are.
Okay, so let's grab a bleed. Bleed is up to you. Bleed is up. Next one, we want to start grabbing another gasoline. See if we can't spend some money over here. Nothing. This one, we're gonna want. What do I want? Let's grab some more shields. Give me money. idea whether nope I'm lying I've got no idea where the thing is I can't remember where it was the teleporter I think it was somewhere over there Fungus. I don't remember what the fungus did. Okay, now don't want a fungus. We do want another one of those. Yeah, that thing's dead. Let's see if we can't corrupt something good that I've got. Half my house. Actually, yes. Will of the Wisp. Um, you. Nope, that was the wrong one. Gun, collect 30,480 total gold. There's another green one. I want some more healing one. I Damage is looking good. Okay, let's go find that. There's the portal. Maybe it was somewhere in this direction. This wasn't 100% sure where. Okay, we Let's go. Okay, boss is dead. Fuck it out. I was insane. While that's busy, pay more shurikens, please, thank you. Fuck it. I can't remember if the shield needs to be open or closed in order to avoid the, the what is technically considered the end game boss. It's just an end to a story, it's not actually the end. You can go for as long as you possibly want if you want to try and create something powerful. Obviously the longer it goes, the harder it gets. Just for warning for whoever does want to do the end game boss. It's not the easiest fight, especially when it takes all your shit away. Okay, I think I'm good. Okay, now we're back to the first area.
Okay, what do I need? What do I need? Uh, let's grab. Start doing some flat damage on impact. I've got bleed applied to me. That's bad. I've got zero crowbars. Let's start getting some crowbars. Just grab another one of those. And let's move on. Thank you. Can't remember what does what, so I'm gonna grab the egg and see what the egg receive flat healing while when attacked. And this is why I love the Huntress so much, because the Huntress can just move around the field so nicely with this dash. I actually came across for some money. Nice. It's barely anything, but...
damage. The other side, okay, so we're already doing better than what we have in the past. Let's hope I didn't just jinx it. But now you get a better understanding of what this game can actually be. The longer we go, the more epic it becomes, and the harder it gets. Now, obviously, I'm still playing on the easiest difficulty, but that's because I just wanted to get to the point where I can obliterate myself, and hopefully that'll be soon. I can't remember if it's 8 or 9. Okay, let's bring up the boss. And basically, I'm just gonna press Q and watch everything die. Q. Just like I thought. Grab this. Let's grab another feather. Because now I can jump even more. I am not. No. Um, am I an expert? Far from. And welcome to the chat. So no, not new to the game, not an expert in the game. I have played it a bit. And also, I have uh, completely wiped the account again. So, um, I have a lot of the characters that are not unlocked. Um, I haven't done the boss that's through the event yet. There's quite a lot that I haven't done. I've basically reset everything. And I am running it kind of on easy mode because I did go get the artifact, um, artifact command, so I can choose what items I want. Tonight was a was a goal for one of two things: one, to show uh, two of my viewers uh, the game itself, and also just to come back to a game that I used to love. I do eventually. I'm looking for people to play with in these streams. <laughs> yeah. Shuriken for now. Uh, purple portal, you're gonna take it? Um, I'm literally just looking right now because I want to get the melee guy. I can't remember the guy's name. I literally just want to go and obliterate myself right now.
and then at some point i do want to get the golden portal so i can get that achievement out the way as well and then i need to take the cell from the back of the drop pod as well i need to get that through to the magma level yeah there's a lot that i need to redo all right characters that i need to re unlock is fine, my attack speed is fine. One of the biggest issues for me right now is that I can about 50. So I think let's grab let's grab another one of these. Now where's the portal? Where's the particles? Let's grab that. Let's grab that. And let's grab that. You can give me a... Give me more damage. You can give me more... That's fine. Critical damage. Steak, and I'm good. Where the f is the teleporter? Ah, found it. See if we can also kill this boss with one button. And we'll just grab. Grab the razor. Well, Shiny Spoon, thank you very much for joining the chat. I do appreciate it. It's always nice having new people pop in. Say hi. Okay, sorry about that. There we go. That's the portal that I need. Celestial portal. Definitely not entering purple. I remember what that is now. Hell no. I ain't touching that shit. Okay, so this effectively means that I am at the end of this run. I've done what I needed to. It's 
So the way you normally get the codes is in certain places, as you can see, codes are dumped everywhere. That's how you get the codes, like what I did for the artifact. But for the artifact of command, you normally have to find these little like blocks that lie around and tell you what the codes are. But I didn't do that, I just googled it. <laughs> and then once you're done and dusted and you're happy with the build, you go over here and you obliterate yourself. This purposely kills the run, you are purposely dead, however it is you successfully completed. Class Huntress. So what we unlocked is quite a couple of things. And I can't remember if we now got the new class or not. Yes, now we've got a new class. And that is the class that one of my viewers, Maestro, was specifically looking for. This is a melee focused build. So now it simply comes down to, on every single one of these classes, you have got one skin, and then you've got an additional skin. And the only way you get the mastery skin is by making it to where I just made it, obliterating yourself on the monsoon difficulty. It's not impossible. It's made a lot easier, like a metric fuck ton easier if you have got two artifacts, artifacts running. One, Artifact Command, you can plan your build. You can make sure you know exactly what you're going to get. So you can focus on a heavy crit build, a heavy um, bleed build with a shit ton of tankiness, especially if you're running something like Engineer, but yeah. And the other one you want is, I can't remember what it's called. I'm gonna have to double check it, but it's basically so that all monsters are doubled but all of their hells are off. Now you can understand why it, it's going to be a lot more hectic with obviously double the amount of enemies there. But with half the health, this shit gets fucked up a lot quicker. And then there's still quite a couple of things that we need to unlock. So a lot of these are grayed out. I've got them, I just have never equipped them. And then we've got our monsters, different types of monsters that we fought, we've got the different environment maps. Yeah, I haven't got any of the environmental info. We've got the challenges. Fully charge a teleport without getting hit. Not as hard as you think. Not as hard as you think it would be. three combat shrines combat shrines combat shrines are based 100% on how lucky you are how often they spawn and then profile stats yeah run history so it's all been defeats and nine times out of ten most of yours are going to be defeats especially until you get to the point where you've unlocked all the good stuff and then items and equipment, monsters, environments, get it painted, all of that. And then alternate game modes. I've played some of these. I think I've played some Larkham quite a bit. I don't think I've touched the Prismatic Trials or the Eclipses. So there is a lot to do, and I will definitely be coming back to this some more in the future. However, but right now, I think I'm going to call it there for evening. We're just shy of three hours. The stream is a little dead. There ain't too many people inside here. So I don't know if it's just a lack of interest in the game. Or if everybody's just out on a Saturday evening. 
However, I hope you have a lovely day and or evening, depending on where you are. And remember, all of my past live streams do get posted onto my YouTube channel. So go subscribe, go show some love and support over there. And help spread the word. Share this with friends and family. Share them on your social networks, on your social media. And let's help this little community grow. It really would mean a lot to me. But until next time, look after yourselves, everyone. Bye.